Welcome to the Apple TV Lab session. My name is Danielle Dries, Senior Evangelist here at Jamf. Thank you for joining me. The Apple TV was originally released in 2007 with the tagline, if it's on iTunes, it's on TV. The device was originally made for home entertainment purposes and certainly has changed the way I view movies and TV. However, the Apple TV has adapted a lot in the 13 years since its launch. We've seen the Apple TV move into educational institutions and businesses with the purpose to provide digital signage, advertising, daily reporting, and is changing the way people collaborate in groups. In addition, we've seen the Apple TV revolutionize the patient experience along with the guest experience in healthcare and hospitality. The highly mobile, inexpensive powerhouse is inspiring a ton of new workflows. Jamf allows the Apple TV to be easily deployed and connected to your organization's network. However, the true magic comes when pairing the Apple TV to Jamf with other solutions. Today, I'll be taking you through a journey of several Jamf partners to showcase how pivotal the Apple TV can be in your organization. First up is Carousel Digital Signage. Take it away, JJ and Jennifer. Hello, Jamf Nation. I'm JJ. And I'm Jennifer. We're with Carousel Digital Signage. Hey, JJ, it sure would be nice if we could present together. Oh, I couldn't agree more. But since we can't, we'll just have to use some fancy editing tricks to get the job done instead. In this lab, we're going to share why the combination of Carousel, Jamf, and Apple TV has the ability to change the way we think about visual communication and collaboration. At Carousel, our mission is to help organizations create spaces where people feel welcomed, informed, and connected by using digital signage. Historically, this has meant putting signage displays into areas like entryways, break rooms, and common areas. Now, however, Apple TV has unlocked the potential to put signage in so many more places, allowing you to truly transform your space. But before we explore this more, let's dive into how a digital signage system works. There are two basic parts to a digital signage system. The content management software that lets you create and manage the content that you see on your screens, and a media player, which is the hardware device that displays your content on a screen. At Carousel, we focus on making the best content management software. And we use third-party media players to show your content. So obviously, we have some pretty strong opinions about media players. Let's talk about why we prefer Apple TV as the best media player above everything else we've seen. Way back in the olden days, media players were often just simple Windows PCs, and they got the job done. However, they came with some serious drawbacks. Primarily, this was because they were designed to be general purpose computers and not the best media players. This meant that occasionally you might see things on your screens like the Windows desktop or perhaps a stray window update notification. This doesn't build a ton of confidence with your audience. And on top of that, Windows-based players were often among the most expensive media players out there, which can put limits on your deployment options. Later on, a new breed of purpose-built media players arrived on the scene. And because they were purpose-built, they often made for a much better digital signage experience than the Windows PCs did. But they came with their own set of limitations. These devices were typically built by embedded device manufacturers who used either proprietary software stacks or open source software that was heavily customized. This made them fairly hard to manage by IT departments. They were essentially unknown boxes sitting on your network with unknown security risks. All in all, it was a world of hard compromises. And as a digital signage software company, we lived in this world for years. Until Apple TV, Apple TV is amazing because it's a dedicated media player, it has a modern, secure, and supported OS, and is completely manageable by the tools that IT teams already know and love, like Jamf. 
Oh, and by the way, Apple TV costs a fraction of the price of the classic media players. This is completely game changing. So great, but what can we do with it? Well, let's start with deployment. The very thought of deploying dozens or hundreds or thousands of unmanageable, expensive media players sounds like a nightmare. And this is where the combination of Jamf, Apple TV, and Carousel comes to the rescue. It's all in a process we call shrink wrap to signage. This means you don't have to touch the media player at all. Well, other than taking it out of the box and plugging it in, but that's it. You simply buy your Apple TVs using your Apple Business Manager account that's connected with Jamf Pro. While you wait for them to arrive, connect up your Jamf Pro and Carousel accounts, and then tell Jamf Pro to enroll these devices in Apple TVs as Carousel media players. With that done, as soon as they arrive, unbox them, hook them up to the network, and power them on. Within a couple of minutes, they will automatically provision themselves with all the appropriate settings, install the Carousel signage app into single app mode, and immediately start displaying your standardized messaging and branding all by themselves. This is shrink wrap to signage, completely managed, secure, and you can put them everywhere. Now that we have digital signage throughout our facility, we can get even more value. Because your signage is running on an Apple TV, you can enable AirPlay connections to any of your digital signs, turning them all into instant collaboration spaces. Imagine working with your colleagues and sitting down in front of any screen in the building and instantly collaborating with AirPlay whether it's a standard conference room, a hotel in space, a hallway, or even your front lobby. And when you're done, your display is automatically returned to your standard messaging and branding. And it gets even better. The integration between Carousel and Jamp Pro is deep. We're not done after app delivery. This integration allows Carousel to actually interrupt and override any of the active AirPlay sessions in order to display urgent messages, you know, just in case something really important is happening in the office right now. This integration allows you to deliver urgent, location-specific visual communications to your teams wherever they are in your facility. And this plays such an important role in making your entire staff feel welcome, informed, and connected in your space. But we don't stop with just signage on the wall either. We can use Jamf to deploy lightweight player software onto iPads, iPhones, and even your Mac desktop as a screensaver, expanding the reach of your visual communication to the entire Apple ecosystem. We're so excited about this combination of Apple, Jamf, and Carousel, and we really believe it's the best solution to extend collaboration and visual communication to all parts of your organization. For more information, come visit us at our virtual booth. Thanks. Thanks, Jennifer and JJ. Next up, we have the awesome reporting tool, Numerics. Take it away, Aditya. Thank you, Daniel. I'm Aditya from Synapse, and I'm here to talk to everyone about our product, Numerics. Numerics was built on a single idea, and that is to give all of you unified business dashboards from all of your data to all of your devices. Built exclusively for the Apple ecosystem, not only is Numerics usable on all devices, but we've ensured that we give you a unique experience for each screen size and form factor on the Apple device spectrum. We have fine-tuned Numerics for everything between the iPad Air to the large iPad Pro screens. The Apple Pencil and Keyboard are also deeply integrated in Numerics to give you a full experience. We're also on the Apple Watch. In fact, Numerics was part of the first 200 apps to be launched on the Watch App Store. We were building our watch integration when the watch was actually in production and have ever since updated numerics for every watch OS and adopted every complication type. While numerics had built support for the app iPad, the iPhone, the Apple Watch, our users were constantly asking for large screen dashboards. When we started building numerics for the Apple TV, dashboards on big screens from our competitors were a scrolling web page playing through a Chromecast or a Raspberry Pi or a machine strap behind a screen. We didn't think this experience was optimal and I traded for months before we came up with what is now Numerics' best, most used and most rated version. As a fully native app, Numerics is what we believe to be the best and most aesthetically functional dashboard on the Apple TV. 
Now, what's a good Apple TV app that doesn't give you functionalities with the remote? Numerics uses the Siri remote to zoom in and out of dashboards, slide through metrics, and give you a tactile response for every interaction. Large screens are replacing projector screens in offices, and we've built Numerics on the Apple TV to make it the presentation tool of choice for you. We don't always interact with dashboards. Instead, we use them to keep teams in the know. And the automatic slideshow mode is just the thing you need for this. Numerics works its way through each metric and every dashboard, making a great winning display for teams. Numerics on the Apple TV gives you great executive and team dashboards designed and optimized for large screens. We sync securely between the iPad and the Apple TV, offer delightful interactions on the remote, a smooth slideshow mode, and a portrait mode for vertical displays. We've packed in a lot of capabilities, but we also had to make it absolutely easy for you to build dashboards. So we designed intricate visualizations that your data can feed into, ensuring you always have a dashboard that looks great and on all screens. Once a dashboard is built, you want to share and collaborate with your teams to track and watch these metrics. Numerics makes sharing easy by creating a simple and secure template file that only has the dashboard configuration and no data. This template can be shared via AirDrop, email, messages, even Dropbox or save to files for later reference. Simply click on the template, open it in Numerics and a dashboard is set up with data streaming in based on the user's access levels. Numerics is the only dashboard app on any platform that has a completely serverless architecture. Being purely native, we have zero data replication and make direct device to data source connections, making us secure by design for any enterprise standards. Data sources require OAuth or other authentication methods that need a browser. And the Apple TV doesn't have any. So we built our own proprietary sync engine over Apple's iCloud Sync that uses your iCloud private data store to bring dashboards from your iPhone or your iPad over to the Apple TV. The iPad handles the dashboard design and authentication for data sources, while the Apple TV is a fully functional large screen dashboard. Now, even when your iPad is not connected to the internet, the Apple TV works independently, independently to fetch real-time data updates for the dashboard. Numerics has pre-integrated with more than 50 popular cloud platforms like Jamf Pro, Jamf School, Salesforce, Google Analytics, and many more. It allows you to bring in custom data via JSON, CSVs, Google BigQuery, Amazon API Gateway, Dream Factory, and soon Tableau. Being purely native, we are primed for connecting to data sources that are behind a firewall or a VPN because we have no data replication and can create dashboards on premise to your devices. Numerics has been fully equipped for enterprise deployment. We can push custom apps via ABM and deploy to workforces via Jamf and other MDMs. Being app config ready, Numerics goes from 0 to 100 when your Jamf setup is already in order. Before we take questions and I conclude this session, I'd like to run a small video of a customer who, who runs Numerics on 30 Apple TVs and scores of Apple devices across their automotive dealership. I hope you all have a great conference and our learnings are able to help you all. I'm Phil Stedman, VP of Operations at Queensway Automotive Group here at Ajax Mazda. I oversee day-to-day -day operations to support growth and to add to the bottom line here within the group. My focus is on strategic planning, setting goals, and direct the operations of the company in support of its goals. We use a lot of business software at Queensway and had a huge problem with important business data being locked away in these systems. Our managers spent a significant amount of time of digging through data and finding relevant information to make decisions. We've been looking for solutions that could empower our teams to have their most relevant data at their fingertips so they can spend more time interacting with their customers rather than in front of their screens. Numerics Unify is our key metrics from all data from over a dozen different systems into beautiful dashboards, keeping everyone in the business in the know. Uh, Numerics on the Apple TV serves as a scoreboard through the day for our entire team and their managers, providing real-time transparency and competitive motivation. We have performance dashboards, as we can see here on the screens as well, for each dealership running TVs across all of our stores. Having these key numbers displayed on dashboards keeps everyone competitive. 
In meetings, the dashboards help us take data-driven decisions. We can easily make numbers bigger to bring it into focus while in discussions. At other times, the TV in our conference rooms runs a slideshow mode cycling through all numerics. Numerics on the iPad is uh, extremely useful when I'm at my desk. Working on the iPad, I use numerics side by side in conjunction with tracking our sales throughout the day. To change notifications, keep me posted even when I'm not looking. If I need a manager's attention or if I need to bring up a certain key performance indicator with a certain individual or employee here, I can share constant information that's served in real time on a day-to-day -day basis. When I'm on the floor, either with employees or customers and clients, um, I may not be using my other devices, but numerics on the Apple Watch keeps me informed. It's like I'm always wearing my live metrics. I have my top 10 numbers on my watch. Right now, we just actually sold a car and it's just up to me as we speak. Um, but I have my top 10 numbers on my watch and based on my day's focus, I can set one of them as a complication. A quick glance at my watch and I'm up to speed. Communicating with Siri at the end of the day, once, once all the reports have come through, I just respond to Siri and ask her, hey Siri, end of day report. Without looking at any of my devices, Siri responds back to me with all of our metrics and KPIs that have been done throughout the day. Hey Siri, end of day report. The value of new cars sold today is 63 cars. That's a 14.5% increase from its previous value. The value of sold today is 43 cars. That's a 10.3% increase from its previous value. Done. Thanks for sharing, Aditya. Coming at you next is Emily, who will be sharing a little bit about Ditto. Thanks, Danielle. Hi, everybody. I'm Emily Carl Hafer from Squirrels. We are the creators of Ditto, and I'm really excited to be talking to everybody today at JNUC. All right, so what to expect today? Um, we're going to be telling you about Ditto. It is a complete digital signage and screen mirroring solution that works with your Apple TV and is deployed via Jamf. Before we dig into all those details, I will share more about Squirrels, who we are, and why we're here. We'll talk more about Ditto and how it works and why it works in your space. We'll share reasons why you should fall in love with Ditto, and most importantly, why Ditto, Apple TV, and Jamf are a match made in heaven. And at the end, we'll have some next steps for you to take from here. All right, and as we're going along, we will be in the chat answering questions as we go along. So if you want to know more about the product, who we are, anything, make sure to drop us a line along the way. All right, so first up, let's talk about who we are at Squirrels. We are more than just woodland creatures. In fact, we are a tech company that was born in 2008. We had just celebrated our 12th anniversary, so happy birthday to us. Uh, we are the creators of Air Parrot, Reflector, and Ditto. You may be most familiar with our products, Air Parrot and Reflector. They are our flagship products. They've been around for many years and we have many amazing customers who have used them both at home, in businesses, and in schools. Um, our products have actually been in millions of those worldwide and we're really excited to be able to share more about our newer product, Ditto. Um, because we've been working in the screen sharing space for so long, you can trust us as leaders in this world. All right, so let's dig into Ditto and how it works. What it is, it's going to be that complete digital signage and screen mirroring solution. It works in any space and you don't require any complex hardware cables or adapters. To get started, all you need are three things. You need a receiver, a network connection, and a place to share. The receiver that we would recommend is going to be an Apple TV 4K or an Apple TV HD. It does also work on Windows devices, but of course we're here to talk about the beautiful synergy between Apple TV, Jamf, and Ditto, so we know that's going to be your best bet. You also do need a network connection. Ditto is able to cross VLAN, so for those of you that prioritize network security, you're all good, and we'll talk a little bit more about those network requirements later. 
you also need a space to share. That might seem like a no-brainer, but we just want to make sure that you know whether it's a conference room, a lecture hall, a hallway, whatever it is where you have a display, Ditto can be there and Ditto will work. So how it works for the end user. So if you're the person who's walking into a space, whether that you're an employee, whether you're a student, a guest, whatever, when you're walking into a space, you're going to have a seamless, um, smooth transition to using Ditto. You as the person walking into that space, you will enter a unique room code into the Ditto Connect app. Ditto Connect is available cross platform. So no matter what device you have in when you're walking into the door, you'll be good to go. You enter in that unique room code and you're connected. It's very, very easy to use. Again, no matter what device you're bringing into any space. So that's on the screen sharing side. We also have digital signage and it's all within one product. There's not two products. Everything is all within Ditto. With digital signage, we know how important it is to have clear, eye-catching designs and messages for all. When No matter what space you're in, it's really important to be able to quickly and easily share that information. With Ditto, Ditto Digital Signage, you can do just that. We have beautiful templates that you can go in and edit on your own. You can upload your own um, designs, whatever it is. You can do all of that with Ditto. All right, so why should you fall in love with Ditto? Uh, a lot of people are going to tell you that this kind of technology is magic. It just feels like you walk in, you sh share your screen, and ta-da, it's, it's all good. But and we can tell you that this technology exists for a very specific reason. Screen mirroring is now commonplace with solutions like AirPlay, with Google Cast, and with Miracast. But we wanted to create our own screen mirroring protocol that was faster, more robust, more reliable, and worked cross-platform. Our team has worked very, very hard to make this complex task easy and straightforward for every user. Um, the, when anyone's coming into a space and using Ditto, they are going to think that it's magic, but you and I will know there's a lot more on the back end that makes that all come together. So some reasons that make Ditto perfect for your space. One is going to be those network requirements. You will have happy, happy networks when you are using Ditto. There's only one port that is required to be open, and we are not using MDNS or Bonjour for discovery, so there's a lot less strain on the network. Um, the Ditto Connect app and the Ditto Connect, and excuse me, the Ditto receiver on the Apple TV talk directly to one another, so you're bypassing a lot of that um, crowded network connection. It makes it very, very easy to use. Um, with a lot of our admins, if you're responsible for digital signage, it can feel really overwhelming if you're trying to figure out how to be a graphic designer on top of all of your other duties. With Ditto, your digital signage nightmares are going to turn into dreams because we have the templates and the easy to use, simple, straightforward portal for you to go in, enter that information and create beautiful, eye-catching designs no matter what space you're in. With Ditto, since you're using both digital signage and screen mirroring in one, you don't have to get two separate products. Everything can be done within one portal and can all be managed in one space. So no matter what kind of display you have, what space you have, Ditto can help you love your screens. With Ditto being so easy to use, you'll also have fewer support tickets and fewer trainings that you have to do for your end user. Um, you'll have fewer people that are confused about what's being used um, because it will be so straightforward when they walk in. We've had many, many customers say that they've seen their support load, so their support ticket load go down because they're not getting as many questions about what screen sharing or screen mirroring looks like in any given space. With that, we also have no wires, cords, or dongles. So you're not having to replace over and over again those cords that mysteriously walk away in the middle of the day. Um, you're also not having to worry about people touching everything. Right now, more than ever, it's important to have a germ-free, touch-free solution, and Ditto can do that. We don't want you to have to worry about sanitizing anything else that's out there, and with Ditto, you can make that possible. All right, so let's talk about why we're all here together and why Ditto, Apple TV, and Jamf are gonna be the best match. So Ditto and the Apple TV first. So you have your display, you've plugged in your Apple TV, you're ready to go. It's really gonna be easy to deploy Apple TV and Ditto anywhere. No matter where you are, what that space is, it's gonna be easy and straightforward. Um, it's also a way to maximize that Apple TV. We know we love the Apple TV, they are wonderful devices, but there are going to be a, there's going to be a limitation with the number of screens that you can share. So with Ditto, you're able to mirror up to four screens at one time. Um, you also are able to ha lessen that clutter for the end user. Right now, if you have maybe 
five, 10, 50 Apple TVs and you're looking for one to share to, you're scrolling through a long list and it can be kind of cluttered and crowded. And with this, you're able to bypass that crowd because you're just entering in that, that room code and you're not using that native um, screen mirroring feature. So it makes it a lot more straightforward and clear for your end user. All right, now Ditto and Jamf. With Ditto and Jamf, you're able to deploy Ditto remotely directly through our account portal. So you can see the screenshot that's here. Um, it shows exactly what our portal looks like and where deployment is, and it takes you directly to Jamf Pro. So if you're working from home and you have all your Apple TVs already deployed, you can sit back, put, push that out via Jamf. You're auto creating and auto naming your rooms. So there's really not a lot of work to be done and you'll be done with whether it be five screens or 500 screens, you'll be done in no time. And it's a way to really seamlessly deploy at a large scale for both your Apple TVs and for Ditto. All right, so today we answer the question, who are squirrels? What is Ditto? How does this work and why it should matter to you? And most importantly, we shared exactly why Ditto Apple TV and Jamf are the perfect solution for your screen mirroring and digital signage needs at any level. What we hope you do from here is start a trial. Uh, we know that you can listen to session after session, but the most important thing is going to be really getting in and getting used to the product and seeing how it really works. So we encourage you all to go to our website, get your 30 day free trial started now um, and, and test it out. See how it works. You can use it on one screen, you can use it on 10 screens. Whatever you feel like you wanna to do to test it, do so. This is the time to really figure out how it works and why it's gonna be the best fit for your space. Um, we thank you so much for taking the time to listen to our session today. I'm so appreciative for Jamf and Janeup for the opportunity to be here, and we hope to see you all again soon. Thanks so much. How great, Emily. Thank you. Quentin is next to showcase exhibit. Exhibit is a free managed screensaver app for tvOS. Exhibit works as an alternative for conference rooms and public spaces where managed Apple TVs are locked to conference room display mode. With Exhibit, you can customize the Apple TVs in your collaborative spaces by displaying curated images and videos to your users. The app also displays an AirPlay box similar to conference room display mode so users can easily identify the device. Main features within the app include image playback of a public CSV file, customization of the AirPlay box behavior and content, start and end date control for your images, and coming soon, the ability to play back video files. To get started, add exhibit licenses from Apple School or Business Manager to your Jamf Pro environment. Once that's finished, Create a new mobile device app configuration for Exhibit. Set the app to install automatically, assign VPP licenses, and add the sample managed app configuration from the Exhibit documentation located at exhibit.readthedocs.io. A configuration profile containing the single app mode payload should be used to lock the Apple TV to the Exhibit app. This profile is provided in the documentation for easy upload to your Jamf Pro environment. Once these items have been created and scoped to your testing device, you will begin to see the sample content appear on your Apple TV. If you're ready to start working with your own content, download the example CSV playlist from the exhibit documentation and add in your own images. The CSV playlist, along with all images, should be hosted on a server with a valid SSL certificate, and image URLs should always use static links pointing directly to the file. For your managed app config, the only required item is the data URL value. This is the URL of the CSV playlist file. The AirPlay View Hide key is a true false value which allows you to completely hide the AirPlay box. The AirPlay View Timer key allows you to set the number of seconds between movements of the AirPlay box. AirPlay Subtitle and AirPlay Description strings give you the ability to change the text within the AirPlay box. The AirPlay Movement value can be set to Fade, Slide, or Inactive 
to change the behavior of the AirPlay movement across the screen. The AirPlay View Position X and AirPlay View Position Y values can be used to set a default starting point for the AirPlay box on the screen. If you're interested in learning more about Exhibit, visit exhibit.readthedocs.io for a complete look at configuration items, sample content, and contact information if you have questions. To learn more about deploying Exhibit in your environment, make sure to attend the Zero Touch Apple TV deployments with Exhibit session. Very cool stuff, Quentin. Last but certainly not least, we have Darren from RoomNet, an in-room entertainment solution. Good morning and welcome to the JNAC user conference, uh, virtual for the first time in 2020. Uh, my name is Darren King. I am the CEO, also known as the Chief Mischief Maker of RoomNet. We provide hospitality, TV solutions and Wi-Fi management to the hotel industry. Uh, the solution I'm going to show you today is based on a standard Apple TV, where we've added in some, uh, some special source to provide a hotel solution. Uh, it's very important to note that this solution would not be possible without MDM to manage the Apple TVs in this enterprise environment. It's a critical thing that we can reset devices when guests check out of our hotel room uh, so that there's no credentials left. In this environment, our servers, our MDM servers, are connected via APIs uh, to the hotel's property management systems. Uh, this allows for an automated reset of the Apple TV via MDM uh, when the guest checks out of their hotel room. Of course, as well as the ability to wipe the device, it's critical that we can control a standard profile of both um, VPP or App Store Connect apps for enterprise. Each of our hotel clients has uh, a different profile. So during the project phases at the start, uh, we will define which application they wish to pre-install, uh, as well as, as I mentioned earlier, uh, any enterprise apps that we may have built for them or third parties may have built for them or indeed they may have developed themselves, and these will all become the base layer. So every time that a new guest arrives at the hotel, there's a consistent experience, always the same applications, always in the same position. And of course, the user can still log in to the App Store and download anything they wish. But the main thing here is providing a, a home from home, consistent experience that takes, you know, what you're all used to doing at home now, your Netflix, TV, TV Plus viewing, Amazon Prime, Hulu, and allowing you to do that same stuff in the hotel room on your nice big TV rather than on your laptop or your mobile device. For me, I'm particularly excited to speak with you all today because I've worked with Jamp from back in the early days when Chip founded it. I think we were started with them in 2004 when the product was called Casper. Uh, so we go back a, a very, very long time indeed. And it's, uh, it's really good to see that they've developed such a mature platform and become the, the go-to MDM solution uh, in the industry. Okay, so let's jump into the demo itself. So RoomNet develops a number of different apps. A critical one we're going to talk about is our live TV player today. This is where we can consume all of the TV channels broadcast on the network via the IPTV streamer. Uh, and we can also mix and match in uh, other channels from the internet. So you may have guests that are staying from Japan or China or the Middle East. And we can actually bring content in directly from the internet uh, into our media player. And of course, as you would expect from any uh, good app provider on tvOS, we support Dynamic Top Shelf as well. So we can provide that kind of personalized video uh, to market the hotel or whatever message they want to share with their guests uh, already on the screen to entice the guest to, to use the hotel services. So as I click on the app, the application will talk to our cloud-based CMS in Amazon. And during this process, it's deciding which site is talking to it, and it will download all of the genres, all of the IP addresses of each channel, each of the channel icons, and have it ready to go for the guest. So in here, you can see we have a number of different categories, international, music, family, sports, uh, premium channels. And again, you can see we have the option to change the icon sign if you want to promote something particularly special. But everything is left, right to navigate channels, up, down to change genre. So it's very, very modern, very, very easy to use. And you'll see in the top left, we have our program data. So we don't have to guess what's playing. We can actually see what's on now and what's playing next. And you'll see that the TV channel preview changes 
every time we hover over another channel. Now, of course, if you want to go into full screen, it's simple as clicking that icon and it will take us into our full screen playback. Uh, in addition to playing the channels themselves, if we swipe down our Siri remote, we can see the detailed program information. If there's subtitles or closed captions, we can select them through this menu here. And if there's alternative language tracks, maybe the Spanish or another language being broadcast live, then the guests can actually select that audio track nice and simply and listen to the channel in their favorite language. So that's our TV player. It supports SAT IP, multicast and HLS formats. So pretty much anything you want to throw at it, it will be able to play that back. And one of the most critical elements is it supports Proidium MDRM so that we can play back those lovely live HD channels in North America. We're partnered with, uh, officially with DirecTV, but we support all major providers that support that Proidium DRM format. Okay, so that's the TV player. We also have a little application which we call uh, Clear Data. And it's very simple. Uh, this initiates an MDM wipe. So let's say, for example, the guest decides that they, they don't trust in automation, uh, that this device will be wiped when they leave. They simply click on Clear Data, click Yes, Do It. I'm not going to do that right now. And it will send the same message to our MDM server as though a PMS had told us to wipe and it will do it in front of the guest and then completely be cleared down and then reinstall all of its applications which are re-delivered via a Mac mini caching server to speed up the process and reduce the demands of the hotel's internet connection. And then it's ready for the next guest, all good and clean and ready to go. Okay, so that's the two, the two main applications. And then we get into sort of customer specific applications. Uh, one of which is made by a third party here called Houdini. And this solution is, is kind of really cool. It's multilingual, it has every kind of service that the hotel will want to market to, uh, to its guests, including uh, room controls, in-room dining, housekeeping requests, restaurant reservations and menus, spa reservations, city guides, offers and promotions, and real-time feedback. And some simple things like we can, if we have a connection to the hotel's management, room management system, we can turn on things like do not disturb, make up my room, uh, view my folio. Uh, there's a whole kind of ton of things that we can do in this system. I'm not going to spend too much detail on it now, uh, but it gives you kind of some idea of what can be done. Just to dive in briefly into one section, in-room dining, which I particularly like in here. So beauty of being Apple TV, it's super, super fast. Your scrolling's really quick. It's all 4K images, and we can create a kind of, you know, basket-style shopping experience, making it really, really super easy for anyone to order any food and beverages uh, during their hotel room. And we have some integrations that go direct to hotel systems. So there doesn't even need to be any people touching the order. It can flow straight through to their point of sale system and out pops a ticket in the kitchen and the charge gets posted to the guest's folio. So it's a really good stuff there. As I say, this product is built by one of our partners called Houdini. And then a kind of slightly more simplified, uh, we can provide uh, guest directories. Um, so these are not integrated, uh, but they do provide you a way of you know, explaining to guests what kind of services the hotel has available. So it might be, you know, video with information on the hotel. It could be, you know, spa, just, just pricing, just price this, opening hours, etc. So it's really, really easy to use. Uh, so it gives you kind of some idea of the, of the things that can be done uh, in this environment. And these are all just tvOS apps that we've built, or I say third parties may have built for the, for the hotel. So it's not one size fits all. Every hotel has a slightly different experience, but there are some standard things. We always have TV Plus, we always have Apple Arcade, we usually install Disney Plus, Netflix, Prime, YouTube, kind of all the key apps that everyone wish to, to have at home and uh, want to enjoy during their hotel stay. So in short, it is a fully managed Apple TV solution with a sprinkle of, uh, as I say, special source, our hospitality applications that we've built to deliver the TV services and the hotel information, all hooked up uh, via MDM and a bunch of APIs uh, that allow the systems to talk and automate the entire process. This is, in my opinion, the most innovative TV solution in the hospitality industry. It's growing very, very quickly. Obviously, COVID has had uh, a significant impact on the speed of growth because hotels are struggling right now financially with a, with a lack of um, occupancy. Um, but we still believe that we are market leaders in this area and continue to add sites all around the world. We've just added one in Japan, uh, in Osaka, which was actually ready for the Olympics, but of course that got postponed. And Maldives, uh, Middle East, United Kingdom, North America, Grand Cayman, 
we really are uh, getting this product into lots of different places. So it remains for me to thank you for your time and attention today in watching our presentation on RoomNet's TV solution for hospitality. We hope you enjoy the rest of the user conference. Take care. Bye for now. As you can see, the Apple TV is much more than just a home entertainment system. We hope you explore the options presented today to enhance the experience of everyone in your school, office, hospital, or hotel. This concludes our time today. Please be sure to reach out to your Jamf rep or one of the partners included in the presentation if you'd like to learn more about any of these solutions. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the conference.